Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you two DIYs. I found some nice pieces online, too expensive for my budget. I can make them for a whole lot less. So stay tuned for this. For my first DIY, I saw this wooden lantern online and they wanted uh, £40 sterling for it. I can make it a lot cheaper and I will use these frames that I got from uh, Action and I paid one euro each for them, I got four of them. I will also use this leftover wood strip in L shape and a wooden dowel and some scrap pieces of wood board. I have three of them. This is what I will do with this L-shaped wood strip. I will support it from the inside so it will be more secure, my lantern. First, I just remove the backing I will use the glass, so I'll just put it aside for the time being. And I do that with all of my frames. I like that it's um, wood there. I would have preferred just wood, but they didn't have that. I think they're cute as they are, but I would prefer them in black. So now I'm taping off the part that has that uh, natural wood look to it because I will paint the white part in a black color. This video is also part of a challenge, Chick for Chi, and it is hosted by Christy at Christy Creates and her co-host is Betsy at Cutting Corners Vinyl. And if you're not familiar with these ladies and their channels, be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. I will leave links down in my description box to the channels as well as to the playlist of this challenge so you can get loads of inspiration. I am cutting the wood strips and the wooden dowel to size uh, the height of the frames, four of each. Then I will just uh, remove all the splinters from the ends of the wood strips and the dowels to prepare them for painting. I will spray paint them all in a matte black spray paint and one coat for the strips and dowels and the frames I went over twice to get a good coverage. Time to remove the masking tape and see what it looks like. Looking good. I didn't have any bleeding, but I accidentally ripped off um, on a few places, so I had to touch up the black. there and I will just use a black sharpie to do that. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going rustic here. I have put the glass into the frames again. I will now assemble the frames so I start off by putting these wood strips on the inside of the frames. I do that on two of the pieces, like so. I'm using just hot glue on this part. The same on this piece.
and then it's time to put them together like so more hot glue and press them together normally when I do my projects I like to use both uh, wood glue and screws to assemble my pieces but I didn't think these uh, cheap frames could take uh, screws so I only used hot glue and later on a bit of um, just ordinary glue as well that was unusual for me so i just uh, trust the glue marika <laughs> trust the glue and here i am with some wood glue and uh, hot glue as well on the outside there and here i will attach my wooden dowels for more reinforcement and it will look good as well i think next i put the lantern on this a wood board that is of natural wood no painting on it and I just measure how large I want it mark it and then I will cut it out here it is and I cut out the black piece in the same size and a smaller piece that I will have uh, like an opening on the top because that black piece will be on top. Now I'm measuring where I need to have it, just right in the center. And once I am happy with the position, I just mark it because I will cut that piece out. I start off by drilling holes big enough for my jigsaw to fit into the holes and I do that on each corner of my square that I have marked out. And then I take the jigsaw and just cut out the square. Here is the top part of the lantern with the square hole in the middle. On the bottom of this lid I will attach these wood strips. I use my mitre box to get that 45 degree angle on my pieces so I will have a nice fit. I will not attach the lid but I don't want it to fall off my lantern. The reason why I want to attach it is because I have all glass pieces inside and if I want to change out something in the decor in my lantern I need to be able to do that. Before I attach these wood strips I go over all my wood pieces with my electric sander. And this bottom piece I will keep in a natural wood. So that one I will sand off thoroughly. Time to assemble the wood pieces and I do that just with some hot glue. Like so, nice and neat. And then I will attach it to the lid of my lantern. Just make sure to center it, mark where I want it, use some wood glue and some hot glue and put it in place and put something heavy on top and let it dry for a while before I paint it. I put some natural oak stain on uh, this bottom piece and set that aside to dry for a bit. Time for painting again and again the matte 
black spray paint and only one coat was needed and I did the same for the lid after it had dried as well. I didn't have any ordinary paint on hand, the black one, so that's why I spray paint everything. I have started to attach the little square, the black square on the bottom of my bottom piece and I do that just with two screws that I have uh, made pilot holes for to not crack the wood and before I do anything else I would just put some pads on the bottom to prevent it from scratching the surface it will sit on later on there it is looking pretty and now it is time to attach my frames just make sure that it's a nice fit and then I will take some wood glue for the stronghold and some hot glue for the instant hold and just put it on and set it aside to dry for a bit before I do that I will take a small wooden plug or whatever you can call it looks like a little button that I will put uh, just with some hot glue as a knob so it looks like a door can't open it though just for show here I am with the top piece my lid and I have taken just scrap pieces that was part of a stir stick that I have cut to size that I will attach with some wood glue and some hot glue like so reinforce it a little bit with some hot glue and I do that on all sides time to put on the little square piece but I noticed that it was a bit uneven so I put some extra hot glue on top of two of the pieces and let it dry and then I attached it just some more to get an even height and while that is drying I will attach the handle of my lantern and I will do that with this hardware that you use for picture frames just put tiny screws into place and I thread my nautical rope through it just with a knot on each side. The final touch is to put some nautical rope on the top piece there to tie everything together just attaching it with some hot glue if you're new to my channel hi I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs thrift flips trash to treasure renovation of my home some pottery some painting anything creative really please join me hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends and here it is in my living room overlooking my tiny backyard looking pretty I think with an LED candle inside I would not use light candles in this since the lid is of wood tell me what you think Here you can see the bottom piece there as well. Looks a bit like it's floating. And you can take the lid off.
55 dollars versus mine for approximately seven dollars for my second diy i saw this wood chain link online this is super expensive and i cannot make it of wood don't know how so i will make a version of it with three links out of this very thick nautical rope I don't even remember how much I paid for it. Maybe four or five euros. Not sure. And uh, this will be just the cost of the nautical rope, basically. So I make a loop like the, the size of uh, the rings I want. And then I will take the length out of uh, three and a half of these loops. And just cut off the excess put it aside and then it's time to untangle my rope and each untangled piece will be one of the rings and I will show you how I do that I start off by taking some fabric glue on the ends of my ropes so they won't untangle further. I had already made a one ring, you can see it here, looking okay I think. I had to try because I hadn't done it before. And the next ring will be entangled with the other one, so don't forget that. So you make three separate rings. And I start twisting my rope around and I do it very tight. I use a clamp to attach the beginning of my rope so it won't untangle along the way. And when I get to the second turn around, I will go in between the loops that I made before, like you see me do here. It's much easier if you just look what I'm doing <laughs> than me trying to explain, I think. And I speed it up for you because it's very repetitive. And once I get to the end of my rope and the third turn now the rope is as thick as it was from the beginning it doesn't look as pretty i will admit that it's not the best quality of the rope the untangled uh, pieces was not uh, exactly tight so it was uh, maybe not as easy as it could have been with some more quality rope practice makes perfect as well of course And now with my third one, same procedure, just uh, do it attached to the other ones. Glue the ends together and attach a clamp to make sure it stays together while it's drying. And meanwhile, I'm just give uh, my rings a little twist and turn so they are a good shape. And now for the final touch, there was a bit of ugliness where I glued uh, my rope together. So I just took some jute ribbon and hot glued that into place like you see me do here. And I did that on all three of my rings. I first thought about uh, taking a ribbon in a completely different color, burgundy color or something, but in the end decided to go for uh, a color that blended in a bit more. 
and here they are sitting on my coffee table looking pretty actually a more summer vibe with the nautical theme tell me what you think of my creations today did you have a favorite let me know in the comments if you like this video and videos like this be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button of course for more inspirational videos if you want more chic for cheap straight away go over to my description box and click the link to the challenge playlist or you can click the diy playlist icon on the screen right here for more of my videos thank you so much for watching see you soon again in my next one until then take care bye